Hello. This is me waking up in the morning. See? Lovely. Lovely, huh? I, yeah. Um, so I'm all raw, which I figured was, since I haven't posted in, I don't know, like, oh gosh, over a month, month and a half. It's been a long time that um, I'd come in raw. And you can see my house is raw, too. We're actually moving uh, to a little town south of here by about 45 minutes. And hopefully it'll be one of the last. I'll get to settle down and raise my little family with my sweetheart. And life is great. Uh, but that's actually not what I wanted to talk about today because I need to finish up this 10 ways to make a difference. So I'm on virtue seven, which is really sweet, short, simple, but I recommend everybody actually study this concept really well. And number seven is strive for moderation. Um, he says, he, it's, I love his analogy here. He says, when I was a young man, my friends and I went to an amusement park where we rode the flying saucer. It was shaped something like an upside down plate that went round and round. Most of us tried to get to the middle so we wouldn't be thrown off by the centrifugal force uh, as the saucer picked up speed. Sometimes those on the edge would grab a friend who was closer to the middle, but that would pull them both completely off the saucer. I soon recognized that the centrifugal force was far less powerful in the middle. I was quite safe in the center, even though the saucer was still spinning. But it was risky when someone on the edge latched on to me. I learned that safety comes from staying close to the center. Now, I agree with this. Um, obviously, because I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't agree with it. It's really important to recognize that moderation isn't just getting to the middle, it's getting to the balance of things. Because, and I guess maybe that is the middle, but not all of our lives is a spinning saucer. So for instance, there are people who work and just work and that's all they do, that they don't get to spend time with their families. And then there are the people who have absolutely no work ethic and spend all of their time with their families and maybe they don't clean up after them themselves. They don't, you know, straighten up their house. This is a bad example. <laughs> don't listen to me right now about this because I'm moving. Um, but there are definitely certain things that people have to find balance in. And it's not going over here. I'll give you an example. So I was thinking about this, about society and about raising children. And I think one of the things that um, I, I ran into a lot that frustrates me is I see people raising their families opposite of the way they were raised. So perhaps somebody was spanked a lot as a kid. And instead of finding the balance right in the middle, they went automatically to not spanking at all. But that's not necessarily the answer. Not that I'm a big advocate for spanking, but I, I know people who refuse to do it no matter what. Why? Because they were spanked as a kid. But there are other disciplines you can use to, or punishments you can use to teach your children discipline. And it's not necessarily spanking, but to not do anything, to just let everything slide, to follow that never say no rule. Have you ever heard that? When I first became a mother, somebody told me about that. And I'm like, you have to know no as well as yes. You can't just do one or the other. Um, so a lot of it, society does this a lot. We'll, we'll bounce into really high fashion or deep politics or on one side or the other. And then instead of finding the middle ground, we find ourselves on the other side of it and doing the exact opposite. We have to find the balance. Now, I have very little hope for the political system, but uh, I do have a lot of hope for our individual lives. If we can learn to find moderation, we really can find happiness, and I know that's true. So I'll see you in a minute. We're going to separate out seven and eight. Okay.